are the judgments and edicts which must be obeyed by all who wield detectors of metal. The Ten Commandments of Metal Detector. Thou shall not leave behind unfilled excavations. Hey everyone, J3B here, showing you some tips and tricks for commandment number one. Long story short, fill in your holes and I'll show you why. Nothing worse than seeing a yard that somebody dug up and didn't put anything back properly. And that's terrible. Nothing worse. And what you do, you cut yourself a nice little plug. For me, I either use my big shovel or my little knife here. And just cut a big C. Go all the way around. Flip it over. Check your hole, check your plug, wherever the signal may be. And then, hey guys, watch this. Oh, you flip it over. Oh wow, look at that. A little bit sticking up there. But that's good. Now check this out, come with me. Now I'm gonna do a big one with the shovel. You guys ready for this? Oh, flip it over. I can check my hole, check my plug. And then when I'm done, oh. Look at that, where'd it go? You can't see it, because I'm that good. Thou shalt not trespass or defy in any way the lawful decrees of thy city, county, state, province, or country. Hey, get out my yard! Hey everyone. When you're out hunting a new field, a new property, make sure you have permission. There's nothing worse than getting chased out of there. I've seen videos online where the person actually gets shot at. Not worth it. Make sure you have permissions before you go metal detecting. Make sure there's no signs like this one that say, you can't detect here, or no trespassing. You guys gotta follow signs. I do it, Chris does it. Make sure you do it too, guys. Shall not harm vegetation, the creatures of the field, natural resources, or the personal property of others. You guys saw that too, right? Don't do it. Be respectful of other people's property. Don't damage the wildlife. Don't damage their possessions. Don't attack animals if they have any if you're out at a farm. Just don't do it. Be respectful of other people's property, guys. Dang, don't be a Sharon. Thou shalt not covet the finds of thy companion, nor shall ye covet his metal detector, digging tool, or the hallowed ground in which he diggeth. Okachogi's new shovel? I want it. Hey, Dad, have you seen Deep to the Dan's new sand scoop? I want it too. Hey, Dad, have you seen the Uva Boy's new location? I want to go there. Hey, Dad, have you seen 503 Diggy's new silver? I want it so bad. That video there? That is how you do four shout outs in one video. Ha ha ha! But, anyways, don't want what other detectorists have. You have your own stuff, do your own thing. You don't need to be copying anyone. Don't need to be, oh, I want their stuff so bad. Like, yeah, there's other detectors I'd like out there. 
But I'm happy with the one I have. Because it's mine, it's what I use, it's what I make all the videos with. So just don't want other people's stuff. Thou shalt not ignore nor neglect thy family whilst in the endless pursuit of thy hobby. Hey everyone. For this commandment here, it's something I've always been worried about. That the hobby is going to take over my life so much that I'm going to ignore my family. I'm going to skip out on family get-togethers just to go detecting. Family trips I ruin by uh, just going detecting instead of spending time with the family. I've been worried about that, but I try to make the best of things. If by chance we are going out somewhere, yeah, I'll see if we can go metal detecting, but I make sure that we do what we need to do as a family first. Um, I try to get the kids involved as much as I can. Even Mandy metal detects with us from time to time. And I think it's keeping us happy as a family. I'm not going to let it ruin my family, ruin my life by taking over everything. You guys shouldn't either. Thou shall assist thy distraught owners of lost goods and the archaeologists and the enforcers of law and all others who may need thy skill as a metal detectorist. Can you help me find my ring? I lost it while playing. <gasps> Is this your ring? Thank you. Thank you. Hey everyone. If anybody approaches you wanting your mad detecting skills to help them find something they lost, or if the police need you to help find something, that's rare, but it can happen, remember to do so. You have a skill. It's almost a trade. We should get paid for this. Help them. Simple as that. Like, yes, this was staged. But that's happened many times where a little girl has lost a ring or something and you help reunite them with it. And I'll tell you, oh, it just, it, it tickles your heart knowing that you help somebody retrieve something they lost. Thou shalt return found treasure to the proper owners whenever the true identity can be rightfully determined. Hey everyone, J3B here. This uh, commandment kind of goes with number six. If you find something and you can track down who the owner is, piece of jewelry, whatever, old pocket watch, doesn't matter. If you can find out who the owner is, do it. If you f dig up an old dog tape from a war and it has somebody's name on it, track down the family that it belongs to. Stuff like that, return it to the family if you can figure out who owns it. Shall report to proper authority any funds relating to criminal activity or of archaeological significance. Hey everyone, J3B and Chris here. Just telling you, if you find something dangerous, like something that could be a murder weapon or involved with criminal activity, a bomb, anything like that, you make sure you notify the proper authorities. Be safe, like Chris here. Thou shalt be considerate of others on the beach and in other public places while waving the search coil and digging holes in the sand and soil. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Damn, balls in my way. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, guys. Remember, when you're out metal detecting in parks, beaches, be considerate of other people. Make sure you're not hitting them, hitting stuff at them, or just wrecking their enjoyment. Yeah, anyway, because it hurts. Cause it hurts. Apparently. Thou shalt speak out against the unjust laws and stand firm against the Philistines who would cast out all those who use detectors of metal. For this final commandment, pretty much what sums it up is no matter what we do or where we go, there's going to be haters. People always think that we're pirates. We're nothing but filthy treasure hunters. We destroy everything. We dig the holes, leave them uncovered. We wreck people's property, we kill wildlife, and you name it, we do it apparently. That's why I've been making these videos. 
So people can see, no, we have ethics, we have morals, we know what to do, and we try our best to do them. Yes, there's still going to be some uh, detectors out there that don't follow these. But they're the ones that are going to have to deal with the consequences, not us. We're showing now with these videos, we know what to do. We know how to take care of people's property. We know how to fill in our holes so no one gets hurt. And we're just good people. We're not pirates. We're not destroying people's property. We're unearthing history, which is amazing. I've dug up so much stuff that I didn't know about. And now I have more knowledge because I sat down and I did the research to find out what it is and how old it is and where it came from. And it was a lot of fun, and I learned a lot. But anyways, guys, st stand strong, stand firm against the people who don't like us metal detecting, who say nasty things about us. Don't let it bother you. Anyways, guys, thank you. Thank you very much for sticking around and watching all these Ten Commandments. I really hope you guys enjoyed them, and let me know in the comments below what you thought. Is there anything I missed? Is there anything I should have touched more on? Because I can always do more videos later on. I want a nice firm set of commandments that anybody starting the hobby, anybody that's been a veteran for years can reflect on and maybe learn something new that they didn't realize that they stopped doing. Anyways, guys, thank you very much. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Subscribing is always free.